Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving up this crispy pan fried crepe stuffed with hash browns, bacon, caramelized onions, a fried egg, and loaded with cheddar cheese. Super customizable, love this recipe. Let's dive into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna tackle is the crepe batter. So in a large mixing bowl, add in your whole eggs, all-purpose flour, whole milk, melted butter, and a pinch of salt. Give this a good whisk until the batter is smooth, but try not to overmix it after all the clumps are thoroughly whisked out. Also, it's ideal if all your ingredients are at room temperature. You're gonna rest this in the fridge for one hour at minimum. Next, you're gonna thinly slice your Yukon Gold potatoes and layer them in a small overlapping circle in a hot frying pan with a splash of oil. Season the potatoes with salt and pepper and cook on both sides until golden brown and crispy. After the potatoes are going, you're gonna thinly slice about half a yellow onion and caramelize them in a hot pan with a drizzle of oil. Let the onions darken a bit and develop some fond on the bottom of the pan. Then you're gonna deglaze with a generous splash of malt or sherry vinegar. I really prefer malt vinegar and it's definitely very underutilized in a lot of cooking applications like this. Season with a little bit of salt and then the caramelized onions are done. Next up, you're gonna slice your thick cut applewood smoked bacon into large strips or lardons and render them in a medium to hot pan until they are crispy, but still have a little bit of chewiness left. Transfer the bacon to a tray lined with paper towels once they're done and allow them to cool down. All right, so now it is crepe making time. So get a large nonstick pan on high heat, lightly butter the bottom of the pan initially and add in just enough batter to thoroughly coat the bottom of it and no more. Give the pan a little spin around to get an even layered crepe and cook on both sides for about two minutes or until it's a light golden brown, but still tender in the middle. Once the crepe is done cooking, you're gonna fill it with the hash browns. I cut mine down just to fit the size of the crepe. Uh, then you're gonna add the bacon, fried egg goes next, caramelized onions on top of that, and finally a good grating of cheddar cheese. Fold the crepe like a little package and fry it up in a cast iron or nonstick pan with a little bit of butter until crispy and golden brown on both sides. Should take about two minutes to three minutes on either side. Now to finish this beautiful crispy fried crepe, grate a little bit more of the cheddar cheese right on top. And of course, finish it off with some sliced scallions, or in this case, some green garlic tops from the garden. And this stuffed breakfast crepe is ready to be devoured. Ooh, man, this looks really, really, really good. A little basky. word I would order this every time if this was at like a local cafe this is like a thing Are you kidding me you have your hash browns you have your bacon you have your beautiful gooey egg in the middle that's just cooked to like custard perfection and of course the caramelized onions holy smokes cheddar cheese Woo. I just love the versatility uh, with crepes this is just like one kind of funky, fun idea for breakfast that you can use it for amongst many, many other applications. Just one more of those ideas um, that you could pull out of your back pocket and just kind of have a really fun weekend breakfast or brunch or really any time of the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below letting me know if you guys want more breakfast videos um, or just the types of videos you guys wanna see, make sure you comment down below. Ingredients will be in my description box, so check that out. And I'll see you guys with another recipe. Later, folks.